Yeah. We had we worked for two days just cutting the right away out on some three phase we to get up over there at Mount Herman. And that was bad. I mean, you, you got ten guys working on chainsaws for two days just to get five spans up, and that's bad. It's unbelievable devastation. Houses that are down and trees, that's just unbelievable. Let me pull this back off. Thank you, Ben. Easy to redone. Yeah. Uh, damage here is the worst by far that I've ever seen. Uh, I've seen Ivan seen uh, Charlie last year, I uh, saw parts of Francis, and the widespread devastation is unreal. There's poles down on every circuit you go past. Uh, as of right now, they've replaced over 3,600 poles, and putting up about 150 miles a line a day. Look at stuff, I was just absolutely amazed. Uh, I've never seen anything like, you know, the, the damage uh, that you all sustained it down, down here. It was incredible. Most people would not believe it. At least people from from back home. Uh, such widespread widespread damage. Uh, it's been incredible. I've never seen this much destruction uh, this far inland. And we we do have some issues that are down south that are right on the on the coast. Uh, those areas were just totally wiped out. Uh, we have subdivisions that uh, are totally gone. So it was probably 10 days into it before we even were able to energize one of our stations. Uh, stations down in the Slidell area, which is the lower part of our system down on the coast, actually had uh, one station had about eight foot of water in it. Uh, hmm. Where'd your family go? They went to Neshoba County, Mississippi, and uh, they're probably going to live there for about two months before they can come back. If I can just find a satellite phone or uh, go to a neighboring parish or something, I don't know. I don't know. I'd like to call them and find out. There's not, there's not one of the guys from Wisconsin that, you know, weren't touched in some way by, by the local people. Uh, very, very outgoing. Uh, very grateful. The, my crew down here has indicated this to me on a number of occasions. This is something that they will never forget. They were truly grateful for the opportunity to come down here and, and help. I think the thing that uh, certainly that I will remember is some of the local people, uh, the outpouring of, of you know gratitude that were here. Uh, I'll never forget that. They're wonderful people. The people, your members are just amazing. I, I can't believe how well we've been treated while we're here. We'd be working string and line, three phase lines down on Million Dollar Road. Uh, just this morning we finished tying that line in and the members that would drive by and roll down their windows are driving and throw out snacks for us and holler out, hey, thank you for coming down, thank you for helping us. And Great, but let me tell you, it's just wonderful to see those co-op trucks out here from all over the country. I, I, I can't express my gratitude, you know, and it, it's, uh, it's, 
it's an emotional thing really to see the help and know that you know how this it's all one big family we've pulled together if i ever would make a suggestion you know as okay. an idea okay i would say ever don't never cross a street with the power line have 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 it in a in, in, in tubing gas pressure like with argon gas or something so the water gets in there so you don't have any power line ever on the road you don't have the power lines so far away from the road as possible you know if you go down on this uh, on those like highway 11 or any one of those roads mm -hmm. and you look at it you see the power lines directly right next to the road mm -hmm. and i don't think that that is smart <laughs> i mean i i don't want to criticize nobody